for the historic society, that lady said. Historical society. You're worth it. <laughs> now he'll need it. It's called, right? The historic uh, port of La Crosse. A, the the port of La Crosse that saved the North during the Civil War, that fed the North. Yep. Okay. You yep. feed me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, in uh, during the Civil War, originally the the New Orleans was part of the Confederacy, which closed off the mouth of the Mississippi. So when grain had to be moved out of the west, west of La Crosse, there is no way to get it to, to England which is the, and uh, Europe who needed our grain. Luckily, La Crosse had a new railroad coming into it and they were able to uh, get, get the elevators in and all the grain was brought into the port of La Crosse and from here it was railroad that took it to Milwaukee. Milwaukee ended up with the, from La Crosse grain and other grain that was in uh, Illinois and Wisconsin. Milwaukee became the largest port, our uh, busiest port in the world to get grain off to Europe. Uh, the whole thing is uh, it was also uh, very important to Lincoln because England especially was looking at possibly supporting the South because of textiles. Uh, they, they would need the cotton. However, the cotton uh, storage in England, they already had a year and a half, two years supply of it, so they didn't need it so much. But England had had a very dry spell. Excuse, excuse me. No, England had had a very wet spell. Hello. Was not able to... But they were not able to uh, supply enough food stuffs, so therefore our grain was very important for the making bread and so on in England, so that they <laughs> they they were uh, by by this means they were able to supply them, and therefore Lincoln was happy because it was the North supplying England, and England stayed out of assisting the South, therefore. So All right. it was very important, Thank Civil War-wise, that we were able to keep England out of the war. So grain and lumber? Lumber here, from here went west, uh, not, not, not east. Lumber went west for west. building west new cities building, in the west. Yes. Lumber went, went west, and uh, a lot of it went down, uh, down to Hannibal. And Hannibal had a huge uh, amount of uh, milling there and from there they shipped on out west also St. Louis the two of them but they were main ports that went west now this was a gateway city here as well but uh, when it came to lumber most of it went down the river so 1858 the railroad spur from Milwaukee to La Crosse yes actually this one La Crosse got its first railroad was in 58 otherwise Rock Island also had railroads uh, but this was the most direct route to Milwaukee. And then, uh, so the whole Civil War was cr really important. Yes. Then after the Civil War became a jumping off point for people homesteading west. Homesteading west, absolutely. And they, La Crosse became outfitters for gear, buttons and boots and clothing. Uh, not only that, the people, uh, the main uh, route into La Crosse was the river. So people would come up river to get off, they'd have all their personal belongings, they had to purchase a wagon, they had to purchase the team whether it be oxen or horses or mules to pull the wagon and it would take time to be able to put everything together once they got that together then they had to get in line more or less to be able to get on the ferry to get across the river and go on on west uh, late season like we are right now many people would come in at the last minute and wait for the ice to form so they could cross over with their wagons and they'd head up the Root River Valley. They got up uh, so far and went to a southern route where they ended up in a little bird called Len Leonora. And Leonora ended up st uh, having a lot of people staying over winter. As soon as, as soon as it started to get spring, they would go up onto the 
onto the upper land and, and continue west. Now, a lot of people really uh, liked Leonora, and they stayed. They ended up staying there. And when it came down to Minnesota becoming a state, where was the state capital going to be at? There was two towns that they were looking at being state capital. One was Leonora, because it and the other town were the largest. The other town was called Pig's Eye. Pig's Eye. Pig's Eye. Pig's Eye eventually changed her name to St. Paul. Leonora was only two miles from the Iowa border. So St. Paul was more centralized. Leonora today has, has less than a dozen homes in it. Uh, the church, is, the original church is still there, which was also used as a protection from the Indians. The, when you go, when, and the church is viewable during the summer, it's open. They have very thin slats for windows, which is their protection, again, from the Indians. So it's, it was set up so you could shoot, shoot from there and protect the people within. So it's still there today. So, so it's, after it's the Civil War, La Crosse was still an important port, but wasn't as critical? not as critical once the New Orleans, and actually during the Civil War, New Orleans was taken in 62, 1862. So it was, La Crosse was very critical to begin with, but they still continued shipping during the Civil War because still going down the river was dangerous. And they uh, had built the elevators and, 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 and facilities here. Right. Vicksburg was taken in 63, which opened up the river, but uh, again, it still was dangerous. Yeah, we still, and we used those elevators for many years. They, those elevators were burnt down in 1870, when the War Eagle burnt. However, they rebuilt them immediately and continued with them. So and then 1870 was the railroad crossing where they built the bridge? The bridge, I honestly... 1870, the revolving railroad bridge just up river I from I don't remember that was 70 or not. I honestly don't remember that. Yeah, there's the bridge, but I don't And then we became a real gateway to the it west. It was in the 70s, but I don't know if it was 70. Uh, right, and that's the bridge that's there. Is the second bridge is over 100 years old now. And then La Crosse was a, more of a railroad uh, coordinating center right. for trains going west. Right. And you had, you had five railroads here, major railroads, plus another two small ones that were all over the The five major railroads and two small ones, all yep. located here. They're coordinating out of here. Yes. And then... What's the main industry now? This is the first time I've been here. Main industry right now? Yes. Uh... Actually, medical. Uh, we have train company. Uh, we have uh, the right, the LHI right here, which is uh, really seen to the health care of our service people. 